I can do a lot of things through Christ who gives me strength. I've been through so much pain. These last few months have been so tough. Yo, what it do is your boy MTZ King and I'm back on your screen. I hope everybody's having a great, amazing Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? It's Taco Tuesday today, yay. I got my taco sauce on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I've been making some phone calls for some stuff and yeah, but <sighs> anyways, though, I hope y'all having a great day, whether you're at work, at school, whether you're doing virtual home, virtual work, whatever you may be doing, I hope you're having a good day. And for those of you that are sick, I hope you get better soon and trust me I'm one of the persons as I I just been running through so many emotions and stuff you know like I said with my health I just I get it's it's crazy it's so many emotions physical mentally and just everything guys it's like you just feel or at least i know i feel sometimes like my world is just caving in crashing down on me i feel like my world's upside down uh, i still try to smile even when i don't want to smile um like yesterday i was cleaning out my closet and i found one of my princess pacifiers and I was like damn I can't believe she's already gonna be five and six months it's like damn where did time go it's the same thing my goddaughter will be two she will be two years old in six months it's crazy because both of their birthdays are in May so <laughs> so yeah but um it's like damn and it's crazy too because my nephew uh he his birthday is in is in May too, so it's like my nephew, my goddaughter, and my princess. <laughs> they're like right a couple of days apart, but they're there. Like it's crazy. Like my nephew is three days before my goddaughter, and then my goddaughter is like a week and a day. Then my then my princess birthday is a week a week and a day later from my goddaughter. It's crazy, but anyways, though, um, is I can't believe guys, my baby brother is about to be ten years old, and I think it's two weeks or dang, I don't even think it's this Saturday. I think it's next. No, it's not this Saturday. I think it's next Saturday already. He'll be freaking. 10 years old, I, I remember when my, we found out my mom was pregnant with him. It was like, it, it was just yesterday he was born. It's crazy. It's crazy how time just flies. So I can't believe that boy's about to be 10, though. I just remember, you know, when my mom had him, my dad coming out, and my dad was holding him, and then I saw him, and then when I hold him for the first time, it was just so damn crazy. Um, that was crazy. That's wild. But yeah, so... For those of you that had me on MySpace and all that, y'all used to know how much I used to post that that boy like crazy. I was always posting pictures of me and him. And now it's just like, whoa. That's so crazy. You know what I'm saying? Babies, kids, we're all blessings until we, you know, grow up and sometimes just choose wrong decisions you know what i'm saying god put us all on this earth because he has a purpose for us but you know what i'm saying some of us get to find that purpose in life and some of us might not be able to find it because you know there's like a lot of babies that lose their lives and of course they go as angels you know what i'm saying but anyway, so I hope y'all have a great day. And I will see y'all back in a bit, though. Chill. My clothes, check that out, guys. The truly true, that's lit. And then this one.
So what to do squad I'm up here trying to see if my um goddaughter is here. But anyways, let me see if she is and I'll see y'all back in a bit. Yeah, what's up what to do squad? I hope everybody had a great, amazing Tuesday. Um I'm just chilling at the crib. I don't think it's see my goddaughter it's already nine o'clock right now. Um but yeah, I hope everybody had a great, amazing day. And thanks for all the love and support that y'all give me. Truly, truly means the world to me. Um, uh, I'll be getting so much support from y'all. And I really, really appreciate it. Trust me, it doesn't go unnoticed. Um, that's that I run all my accounts, you know, from my from my YouTube to my to Instagrams to my Facebook to my Snapchat to my Twitter. I run the show. All oh, me, me, me. My TikTok, everything is run ran by me, and. <laughs> Sometimes it is, sometimes it's nerve wracking to me uh, when it comes now to posting pictures because I don't have the body that I used to have, the body that I was like, oh my God, proud of, um, which I am working on. I haven't been eating as much like I was. I haven't been, um, I've been just trying to better off, like eating, but not, not eating like oh my god like so much you know like i said you know one of my main things is you know coke like coke let me rephrase it coca-cola or like of course i like dr pepper but leaving like sodas and stuff is kind of something that i am like damn it's kind of hard for me of course anything is possible you know um and i am drinking in more water than the usual uh like I said, I don't like water, but and if people always say, "Oh my God, you must drink so much water to have a clear face," trust me, guys, I don't not drink. I do not drink enough water that I need to be putting in my body. Shit, if I drink more water, trust me, I think I'd have a more even clearer face. Uh, so yeah, I really do appreciate. It. I had so many people. It's crazy, and when I mean so many people, like so many people, tell me like, "Oh my God, you got beautiful skin. I love your face. It just so, so, so it looks so smooth and soft." And I'm just like, it's kind of rough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, they always like you must drink a lot of water. Like, nah, um, nah, not really. <laughs> Uh, but I think my face probably looks like that because I do take care of my face a lot. I do, you know, like I say, every morning and night I um, get alcohol on a cotton ball and I wipe my face. Then of course I shower in the in the nights I shower and I freaking you know scrub my face, clean my face, apply whatever I use for my face. Then I do have. Um, it's medicine that I got from my dermatologist more for like oily my extra hair gets really oily and I'm not just for you know to prevent from getting pimples like I just got a big one right here it came out of nowhere you can't see it too bad but it's there um and I do apply those and then one that I had actually got I had bought uh, a couple of months ago and I apply those on my face uh so yeah, you know, I do. I always been really like that about my skin. And, well, more my face. My appearance is from my face. Uh, like, a lot of people are like, man, when did you get your nose pierced? It hasn't even been a year yet, guys. My nose will barely make a year in February. 
this coming February then in 2021. Um, it will be a year since I got my nose pierced. Um, I got my nose pierced at the age of I was 30 at the time. Cause I'm 31 now, but my birthday is in April, so that's what I'm saying. I was 30 when I got it pierced, but my nose was something that I wanted to get pierced since I was like 15 years old. But my parents were like, nope. More of my mom, so I don't think I ever told my dad. My mom was like, no, you're not gonna do that. Da, 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 da. Same thing with my tattoos. I didn't get none of my tattoos until I was already, I was literally an adult already. I was already in my 20s, I think, when I got my first tattoo. And my first tattoo was the letter N for my baby brother. Um. So, yeah. Uh, and my last tattoo is this one. Damn, that's funny. I didn't even realize it, that the N and the A. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even realize that till right now. Uh, I think this one is going to be, I think it's going on three years now since I got a tattoo this year coming in May, uh, May the 15th, well, May three years, I believe, uh, since I got a tattoo on me, three or two, something like that, um, but yeah, and I also want to say, a happy birthday to my brother-in-law because it is his birthday today. Happy birthday, bro. May God keep blessing you. And shit. Much love, man. Thanks for always listening to me whenever I did need somebody to talk to and somebody don't hear me out. I appreciate you, man. Um, may God keep continue to bless you. Uh, today is even um, Today would have made three years at my job that I had to leave. And I'm like, damn, I kind of got in my feels because what reminded me was actually Facebook. Um, you know, Facebook always reminds you with all kinds, even though there's stuff that you don't want to be reminded by, but Facebook reminds you. So it popped up and I saw it. I'm like, well, because I usually don't go on Facebook unless I'm posting something from my TikTok or to tell somebody happy birthday or to you my my cousins or you know my yeah message me from you know um my parents you know side of the family whatever either mom or dad whatever and you know uh so i only go on there like for that and so i popped up a memory thing and i looked and i was like damn i didn't even remember honestly guys with me having these damn seizures and stuff I didn't really remember until it popped up and I was like damn I would have been three years there that's crazy time sure did fly by fast but like I say um there's some things that are meant to be in our lives and there's some things that are just not meant to be in our life um but yeah anyway so I am blessed to have each and every one of you follow me and be a part of my life be a part of my journeys my day-to-day -day journey my day-to-day -day life like i say i might not be like one of the cool channels on youtube but i'm just one of them channels that i'm just me you know <laughs> that's one thing that people need to remember just be you who cares what people think about you who cares what people say at the end of the day they're living their life the way they want to so you live yours how you want to at the end of the day there's only one person that can judge us and that's god don't worry about anybody else judging you um so yeah uh thank y'all so very much and you know don't forget to like comment share subscribe join the team join the squad and turn the post notification on and thank you to all my new subscribers like i said if you're new comment down below and i will give you a shout out so with that being said much love and i'm out chill Days that gon' turn you on Hope you feel the vibe when you hear this song You a boss, I'm a boss too Lil' baby, when I pull it, would you go?